So my name is uh, Tom Wise, and at Red Funnel I am the lead commander of Red Jet 7. I've worked for Red Funnel now for four and a half years, and the whole time I've been with Red Funnel I have been working on the high-speed service, uh, navigating between here and the Isle of Wight. Uh, my name is Captain Flynn, and I'm a captain here at Highline Cruises. And uh, my main run is from Hyannis to Nantucket. It's an island about 30 miles south of Cape Cod. Uh, I've been a captain now for 10 years total. It's been uh, three years here at Highline. So the main advantage to having water jets here at Red Follow High Speed is that maneuverability. You can operate these in sustained wind speeds of 50 knots. This run in particular, the more challenging parts are the traffic. So you're dealing with a lot more recreational boaters as well as large ferry boats. And also on the island of Nantucket, it can be very windy, uh, especially in the winter time, uh, which is one of the biggest challenges here on this particular run. We do have other water jets in our fleet. The Hamilton is uh, extremely cost competitive and uh, more importantly than cost is it's become reliable. We've had zero downtime in 15 years due to mechanical failures with Hamilton jets. Not every jet provider can say that for us. So water jets are very good at giving you quite a high top speed. Again, it's for vessels that are requiring a high top speed and being quite maneuverable, those don't always go hand in hand. With the uh, added safety factor that when you're running at speed and reduced visibility, or even in the evenings and night times, coming in and out of a relatively small harbor like we do, it's nice to know that you can stop from their service speed in a boat length and a half. From my experience at Hamilton Water Jets so far, I've been operating them for the last four or five months now, I have found the Hamilton Water Jets to be more efficient in the power that they do produce. So in comparison with the other vessels that we have with different water jets, we seem to need less main engine RPM and therefore shaft speed to achieve the same amount of sideways thrust or thrust that we do get out of the engines and the vessel. Uh, personally, I do prefer the Hamilton Jets. So I find it a little bit more reactive as well. If you're looking for a particular maneuver, you can get it a little bit quicker from these jets.